Good afternoon. Stop. Open your minds and let me in. Listen to these words that I'm about to speak from within. When you look at me, what do you see? Baggy jeans, tattoos, a baggy shirt. Now look deeper within me. Can you see my hurt? See, I once suffered from low self-esteem, not having faith in myself, scared to chase my dreams, putting on a mask trying to please everyone else. But then I realized I would never be happy nor successful if I didn't first learn to love myself. And today our youth are going through similar things and feel that no one can relate. So they turn to cyberbullying and even suicide, and then it's too late. For us to embrace them and let them know that they're not alone. It doesn't always take materialistic things. Sometimes all they need is for someone to pick up the phone. So with that, I'll ask you, what's going on? Our cities are dying. All you have to do is read the newspaper or watch the news if you think I'm lying. We have kids who no longer use their fists. Kids who'd rather pick up a gun when they feel they've been dissed. Back in the day, they would say it took a village to raise a child. Nowadays, if an adult corrects a kid they see doing wrong, they have to worry about the parent going wild. What's going on? It's so much with this picture that's wrong. We have health clinics inside of our high schools. What happened to promoting abstinence is the number one rule. Instead, Michigan is ranked nationally when it comes to kids with STDs. And it's sad because there's more teenagers with a disease than with a diploma or a GED. 12-year-old girls pushing baby strollers. 12-year-old boys who dreams ought to be a high roller. What happened to being a doctor, a lawyer, or a teacher? But it's hard to have positive role models when the media is constantly displaying corrupt preachers. What is that showing the kids of today? That even the man of God will go astray? See, that's not the picture that needs to be painted. That's what's wrong with our youth. Their lives have been tainted. Not enough men being men showing little boys which path to take. Not enough women being women and showing little girls just how great a woman's worth really is. It's up to us to save our kids. Instead, we let them idolize Lil Wayne and Jay-Z instead of installing in them just how great being themselves can be. So we can sit back and continue to do nothing and allow our kids to continue to kill each other over nothing, or we can reach out to our youth and help them become something. Because if none of us are trying, our cities will remain dying. This right here is more than just a Michigan problem. It's a worldwide epidemic. So I won't close this by asking you how. I'll close this by asking you when it comes to poverty, bullying, rebuilding our communities, what now? Thank you.